So following on from the previous video where I did a setup guide for the M4 Mac Mini, showing you the steps of how to set up your M4 Mac Mini for the very first time, a lot of you out there did appreciate that and you did like the video and you've joined the channel for the very first time. So thank you for subscribing. Also, a lot of you did ask me about my monitors, what monitors they are, how I've set them up, and what are the capabilities of the M4 Mac Mini when it comes to connecting monitors. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly that. What monitors you can plug in, how to plug them in, what you might need to plug them in, and what the capabilities of the M4 Mac Mini are when it comes to connecting multiple monitors. Not only that, but then when we have connected the monitors, I'm gonna go into the system settings and show you how you can arrange them, whether you have them stacked like I do, side by side or any other orientation and also show you how to change the resolutions. Now for those of you who already are used to Mac, you might already know this. So if you've got any other helpful tips, leave them in the comments below for the others. And those of you who are new to Mac, I'm sure this video will help you out. So if it does help you out in any way, let me know in the comments box below. So if it's your first time here, Remember, hit that subscribe button below to be part of the community. Say hello to the other members in the comments box. And like the video if you do end up liking it. Remember to share it with your friends and family if you think they will benefit from this kind of video. And if you know anyone getting the M4 Mac Mini, they might want to know how to connect multiple monitors to the M4 Mac Mini. So without further ado, let's check it out. So if you've been a follower of the channel for a while, you probably remember I used to use a 43 inch 4K TV as my main monitor on the setup. And since moving to this new studio, I figured why not try something different, maybe I'll like something a bit more than that. And what I've been using are these two 22 inch 1440p monitors by Uperfect. They're the Unify UMAX 22 monitors and they're actual portable displays. So they don't use a lot of power and they're all connected just by one cable each into the back of my M4 Mac Mini. Now, when I got these displays, I wasn't sure how I wanted them. Did I want them side by side? But after looking at that option, I didn't want to be staring at a bezel right through the middle. So what I've opted for is putting one monitor on a monitor arm at the top, which is nice and flat, and then using the built-in kickstand leg that comes with the monitor because it is portable, the bottom one is at a slight angle, and I found that that is actually one of the best orientations for me at the minute. Now, if you use multiple monitors at home, let me know what kind of system you use. Do you have them side by side? Do you have it stacked? Do you have it stacked and then have one vertically? Let me know what you do. But this has been so far quite good for productivity, and I've enjoyed it a lot. So with the M4 Mac Mini, you're actually able to connect up to three extra displays to the system. Using the ports on the back, you've got three Thunderbolt 4 ports and one HDMI port. If you want to utilize all three Thunderbolt 4 ports, you can connect two monitors that are 6K at 60 Hertz and one monitor at 5K at 60 Hertz. And if you want to use the HDMI port, you can connect two monitors at 6K at 60 Hertz on the Thunderbolt ports and one monitor at 4K 60 Hertz using the HDMI port and then you'll have one Thunderbolt port left for connecting a peripheral or external hard drive or connecting it to a dock so you have more ports open for other stuff. Now it is also possible to use a DisplayPort 1.4 cable to a USB-C to connect to that USB-C port. And also if you just want to use the HDMI cable for one extra monitor, it can go all the way up to 8K, I believe 60 Hertz and 4K 240 Hertz. Now there is probably a lot of middle ground there, but they are the maximum capabilities of the M4 Mac Mini when it comes to displays. Now from what I'm aware, you can't daisy chain two monitors with one Thunderbolt cable and then connect them to your Mac Mini. But what you can do is utilize that Thunderbolt port on the back to find a capable dock that will let you plug them two monitors into the dock and then just have one cable going from that dock into the Mac Mini, leaving you two extra Thunderbolt ports available for other stuff. So now that we've gone through on the M4 Mac Mini, what you can connect, how to connect it, and what the limitations are when it comes to monitors, let's go into the system settings so I can show you how you can actually arrange the monitors depending on what kind of orientation you've put them, side by side or stacked like I've done, so that when you do want to drag apps up and down, you don't have any issues with it not working. So when you go into system settings, you're going to go into displays on the left hand side, and this is the section all about the monitors you're using. So the monitor should appear on the top here. As you can see, I've got both of my Uperfect monitors up here. And what you can do is click on one monitor. The one you want to use as your main monitor is always going to have the dock. So when you select the monitor you want to use as your main monitor, you want to click Use As, and 
select main display and that's the one that's going to have the dock and be kind of like the home screen and then go onto your second monitor and you want to use as extended display that's what allows us to drag apps up and down because if you just select to mirror you're just going to have two home pages and it's kind of redundant because then you've got a second monitor for no reason underneath that you have the different resolutions that you can select now these monitors are 1440p so the max resolution it can go to is 2560 by 1440 and i actually prefer that it's nice and crisp and looks very nice Underneath you've got color profiles, so you can select a bunch of different color profiles for your monitors. For my one, this one that comes with it is generally been the nicest one I've selected, but you have the ability to change different ones there. Underneath color profile, you have refresh rate. So when it comes to refresh rate, different monitors have different refresh rates. You can go up to 240 hertz. Some gaming monitors have 400 hertz. And usually you're going to have monitors having 60 to 120 hertz i think that's the base normal obviously you have gaming monitors that do have 144 108 hertz etc but this is where you can select your hertz now you can have variable like i've seen there but i select minus 60 hertz just keeps everything nice and smooth and then what you can do as well is rotation so what you might have noticed something i wanted to do with my display is because the bottom bezel is a little bit thicker than the top one i wanted to have the top display flipped over and then you can rotate it 180 degrees and that way you'll have the smaller bezel on the top and it will look much nicer i have limitations when it comes to the monitor arm the monitor arm would would not go as high as i needed it to be so i had to leave it like this if in the future i get a monitor arm that has ability to go higher then i can flip the top display and have the same orientation with a little bit less gap in the middle. With mine being a stack display, next to the monitors you've got this button arrange. So as you can see, when I click on this display, it shows a red square around the display telling me that we're talking about that one. And if I click on the bottom one, oh, it doesn't do it, but it does. So there we go. It does it around the bottom one as well. So you're very aware of which monitor you're interfering with. So as you can see, you can select the monitor have them side by side. So if I select it side by side like this, now instead of going up to this monitor, I have to go to the left, and then you can see my mouse comes to the left. And then when I go to the right, it's gonna to go to the right. That's because the orientation is like this. So if you have a side by side orientation, this is how you're gonna arrange your monitors, depending on the, where the main one is, if it's on the left or the right. Now for me, my main monitor is underneath. So I put the main monitor underneath, top one on there, and that's how I'm able to go up and down instead of having left and right. So obviously if you have three monitors, then you'll have more on there. But for me, I've got two monitors. So that's essentially it. And if that video did help you, be sure to subscribe down below to see more content when it comes out, be part of the community, like the video if you liked it and share with your friends and family who might benefit from this as well. Now, if there's something that you do know that I haven't gone through here, I trust me, I'm not perfect. So don't feel afraid to leave a comment down below. That way the other viewers will have some new information that I didn't even know about and I'll learn something as well. And if you are a new viewer and you're unsure about something that I haven't gone through here, don't be afraid to ask me down below because I do try and answer any questions I get down below regards to the video. So thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one and have a great day.